of the most widely used applications today right and uh, the problem with you youtube is once you start watching it it takes you down in an endless uh, infinite uh, hole actually and by the time you realize uh, you have uh, wasted few hours every day and it's incredibly addictive the kind of channels are uh, there uh, the kind of content that is put on there right so this is for adults for children also for uh, young growing children aged 3 years to 7 years it's again a problem where they uh, get addicted to this certain youtube channels like uh, my little pony peppa pig max and ruby and it's like a endless thing it's not like a one episode comes every week and you happily watch the way we used to watch shakti man every week right we are you anticipating and you are having a great time watching for 30 minutes uh, but this is like there is no end okay so this these are the problems we have and it ends up uh, wasting a lot of time so now my question is uh, there is a benefit of youtube for example you get to learn few things uh, something because there are some good channels as well for example personally i like fight media pretty and uh, dare to do uh, motivation some good positive channels are there which give you something to uh, learn right you it enhances you as a person as well as there are some good entertainment channels also right some good podcasts etc however uh, what when i weigh the benefits versus the uh, harm the harm seems to be more than the benefit so i feel it could be better if we eliminate it completely so what is your guys take what should an, a person who is in this situation should do because uh, personally wasting time is one thing but if there his uh, or her kids are also you know getting into this uh, uh, hole then uh, you, you feel terrible actually yeah your thoughts uh, see uh, if you ask me this youtube is no, uh, no different in a way than uh, television mm-hmm. well here before this uh, youtube and all came into the picture the uh, kids were addicted to tv and everyone was uh, talking about how this tv is uh, like you know the it has this non stop uh, entertainment it has so many channels right if you watch cartoon network right it is like a 24 bar 7 uh, channel right always whenever you switch it on there will be some cartoon play and if you put a kid in front of that they will just watch it and the kids psychology especially is uh, you know very much in tune with this tv medium because they love to watch the same thing over and over again that is something you might have noticed like if you are an adult you watch something you want new new content after that but uh, kids are not like that they are happy to watch the same content over and over again right i think it is in their uh, because they are growing and they are learning they need that right so a by a long way back i read uh, read an article on a tv show called the sesame street you guys might know that might be aware of that right it's probably one of the first uh, it is probably one of the greatest and first ever uh, children show to become barney, a huge hit barney bj baby bop those characters right uh i i i don't really know that show like that i only read this uh, article right L- long back and uh, they they are the ones who crack the code that uh, actually kids want to watch the same thing over and over again and uh, they they will have the same scenes same uh, you know scenarios playing out over and over again and uh, the same episode they will rerun they came up with a lot of ideas which are still used in tv so the my point is that youtube is very similar 
right? Except that it has, you could say it has even more content and uh, even more uh, channels, right? It's uh, like a TV with uh, infinite number of channels, you could say, right? You can just keep watching. Mm. You don't need, uh, if you have 48 hours in a day also, it has content. You can just keep watching. And by the time you finish watching, uh, even if, uh, let's say you have finished watching everything that is there, by the time you finish, there's new content. There's new content or uh, the content you have already watched itself has faded in your memory. So you can watch it again. So, yeah, but uh, this is not a different problem, if you ask me, than a TV addiction, right? You have, and uh, you, you are saying that uh, it is just, uh, you know, I want something useful from it, right? So my opinion is that uh, we are fooling ourselves if we think we are getting anything useful out of YouTube. Whatever you get, there's none. If you ask me, there is uh, there's nothing. You gain nothing. Today, if you uh, totally eliminate YouTube from your life, and uh, after 10 years, I am sure you are not going to be lamenting, uh, or uh, uh, rather, you. I am sure you are not going to be lamenting, oh man, I missed out so much because I didn't uh, watch YouTube, right? So much useful information I, have, I am missing in my life because I don't watch YouTube, man. I don't think there is a single person in the world, right? Who is where? Of course, it's possible, right? You have TV and uh, people will say there are documentaries on TV. Then Animal Planet is there. Uh, Discovery Channel is there. You can watch all those and learn things, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, that's not what happens. We all know that. Mm -hmm. If there is a TV, uh, it's extremely difficult for you, for most people, common people, to choose stuff which uh, by which they learn. And, uh, you know, only get derived value out of it, right? So what is the so, reason for that? Because is it like... Uh some evolutionary reason because our brains subconsciously hey, let's, we... uh, I, I have some uh, something yeah. rele relevant to that question Aman okay okay so let's, right now let's say you say YouTube right mm. and uh, OTT whatever right before this you are saying Shaktiman watching Shaktiman on TV was a better option right but whereas there were there have been problems with TV watching as well right as mm. soon as like Damu pointed out Watching TV is frowned up, was frowned upon, right? Mm. Now let's go back a little bit further, right? Why do we, uh, why do we need this television OTT? And what was there before television, right? So you say books, right? Mm. Now suddenly you may, as you are saying, you feel that you know television is better than OTT. You would definitely say maybe some fiction books, right? Books mm. are better. Mm. Or if you go even further down our history. We will know that people were doing uh, uh, gossip, chit chatting, and uh, mm -hmm. you know oral storytelling. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I see a fundamental human need to be entertained here. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. There is a fundamental human yeah, this, need to. Especially the more what? mindless, it is better. I think right? where you don't have to engage, just sit yeah, there I'll and tell you. you know yeah. let it pour, pour. I tell you what. So, so earlier days, earlier times, the limited interactions, limited books, right? How many books can you buy, right? Only, only a few, right? And uh, it takes a lot of time to read books, right? Mm. But many people I, I know, you know, uh, have done, uh, you know, they used to do night outs reading books, reading a new fiction book that has just come out. Yeah, right? when, uh, when uh, Venkat days. pointed out, mm. uh. as Venkat, uh, when Venkat said, that's me actually. Right? Mm -hmm. During my college days, of course, uh, we had a TV, but we only had two or three programs in a week worth watching. We had the Chitrahar or a Sunday, some movie, something was there. Right? Apart from that, uh, TV was not uh, so big when I was in college. So I used to read fiction, right? Like Venkat was saying, uh, staying up till 2 a.m., 3 a.m., I used to read. Uh, fiction and then go and sleep in the class. 
mm -hmm. right? <laughs> so uh, this uh, this has been there, uh, Amar, right? Mm -hmm. uh, people people want this kind of um, mindless addictions uh, have always been there. Uh, you just want to while your time away, right? Yeah. Yeah, but why it uh, gives you, know, you that becoming, dopamine is becoming easier. Hit. It gives you dopamine. Right, hit. You can you can uh, talk technically like that. Uh, but if you see, you know, we feel the need to be entertained, right? We feel the need to just chit chat, no, you know, talk about people, talk about fictional stories, etc. Right? Mm -hmm. And it has become easier. Earlier, uh, let's say, you know, somebody who was a storyteller, right? There, there have been characters like storytellers who used to pass stories to others because everybody was not capable of telling stories, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, they wrote books, they wrote scripts, books, so that people can read. But book is a, still, you know, you have to engage with it. You have to read it, right? It is actually, but easier than storytelling. And mm. uh, televisions are much easier than books because mm. you just have to just use your eyes. Whereas over there, you have to use your brain, etc. right? Mm. It be, it's becoming easier and easier to be entertained, right? Mm. However, I feel, I uh, so this is what I think historically, we have the need, inherent need to be entertained. Okay. Mm -hmm. You cannot just shoo away that saying that everything should be useful. Yeah. Entertainment has a, there is a value in entertainment, right? Mm -hmm. You feel good. Sometimes you feel uh, if you have a way, if you watch a very good program of your interest, it actually uh, helps you, right? Mm -hmm. It helps you to clear up your brain, right? Mm -hmm. Helps you in, uh, uh, you know, clear, cleaning yourself up. Right? Helps you in some way. Entertainment has some value, right? Mm -hmm. Um so coming back to this uh, point of, you know, uh, yeah, so we probably have some time is a major con uh, constraint, right? Mm -hmm. It was a major constraint before, but not anymore. Now we have to restrict ourselves based on, let's say you have to cook, you mm -hmm. have to eat and you have to watch YouTube, mm -hmm. right? Or let's say you have like tens of things to do. You have to wash your clothes, you have to clean your house. You have to do everything and how much time will you have for YouTube? No matter what, right? Mm -hmm. You'll only have half an hour probably per day for YouTube or Facebook or whatever sorts of entertainment. The point here is when you have access to a device throughout the day, right? That is the problem. Access to the device without having, without spending your productive time in other places, right? Mm -hmm. That is what uh, is the main problem, right? Even, you know, for, uh, let's say, software developers like us, mm. uh, you know, it, we, we should just not open uh, these kind of URLs, right? So it's basically do, occupy willpower. your mind. You are do saying your willpower. Uh, yeah. So don't no, it's start. Not willpower. It's not Don't willpower. start. You are saying don't start, which you cannot control. Yeah. Don't, see, the point here is when you are totally busy with work, uh -huh. and then at the end of the day, you want some entertainment. It, hmm. Go ahead with that. Right. Mm. At the end of the day, we all need some entertainment. We all need a break from our regular routine, right? Mm. Mm. So we should be fully occupied in our work mm. and be entertained a little bit. Right? It's for our entertainment. We all need source of entertainment. We all like to play. We all like to talk to people. We are a social being, right? So uh, we talk to family, friends. Now I think uh, in this situation, we can talk to them over video call, etc. The one thing... But uh... entertainment is definitely something we can do. When we have time remaining, right? That is what, right? The time when we have some extra time, it would be healthy to use, uh, to watch some videos, you know? We, it's it's actually entertaining, right? It, uh, light, it lightens you up, right? You, you feel good after watching a good quality content, right? I feel good, right? When I, uh, on the other day, I watched that uh, uh, Yash Raj Mukhate's uh, uh, Pari Hori mix, right? I felt so nice. I kept watching it uh, for multiple times, right? So I liked it. So likewise, it is, uh, I feel, you know, we human beings, we have an inherent need to be entertained, right? So as long as there is like a time that we, uh, you know, that we can possibly specify for this entertainment, we should be good. But when we do not have that uh, you know, assigned time for entertainment or a limit for our entertainment, that is when the 
things go bad so so your uh, okay. that's, that's the summary is your thought. the summary is you are saying it's essential that's why it's there and that's why we use it and the second thing is but i'm not saying essential it's hmm. nice to have it's like nice to have entertainment hmm. for a limited period of time because we we human beings need it we need hmm. it we yeah. need it we need it yeah that's why i said essential uh you're saying before uh, jumping in you decide the time limit and then only jump in is that what you're saying right there should be a schedule. yeah jump in after you have completed your other work for the day right usually at the end of the day when you are like tired and worn out and then you know okay let me lighten up right let me finish my day but then a, you end up uh, doing a all nighter on youtube right and then you the, sleep the at point here is let's say let's uh, say i have to have my dinner at 8 o'clock right uh, and at 750 i see this right uh, i have a hard stop i have a hard stop that i can only watch youtube for next 10 minutes okay uh, so i might watch uh, say you know in tamil i am a fan of this parida bangal uh, is one one channel all on tamil uh, for tamilians right mm-hmm. so i watch the parida bangal for 10 minutes laugh a little and then go for dinner finish so that lightens us up right so okay. Okay. that's when you have something next lined up next you don't have time 8 o'clock you have to have dinner you must be there at the at your dining so table the time restricted uh, scheduled uh, entertainment is fine right yeah. is that correct yeah damo what do you think uh, for adults limit. we are just discussing this for adults for now uh what do you think damo any other yeah, suggestion here the one thing that venkat mentioned hmm hmm go ahead yeah so from uh, what uh, venkat said right hmm. there is one uh, crucial difference that i see with uh, tv and uh, television uh, sorry youtube these things right because what uh, one thing that uh, venkat mentioned was like we are human beings we have this inter- uh, innate need to be entertained right and then uh, as social uh, beings right that is what he said but that's uh, that's what is being contradicted here meaning uh, we are social beings mm. on one hand but uh, these forms of entertainment like youtube and tv they are uh, like totally cutting us off from society more than connecting us and uh, we are actually becoming more isolated by watching watching something rather than interacting with other people or uh, you know spending time with other other human beings right which goes against this thought that we are social beings right so that is one thing uh, or uh, thinking about it further it could also be that it satisfies that uh, youtube is slightly different from uh, tv in the sense that it satisfies both the needs like you want to socialize at the same time you are also lazy you want to be entertained simply entertained right now youtube is like it's uh, seems like people more like you right they are the ones who are creating content and uh, you can go there and comment on that uh, and there is some interaction so it uh, satisfies your need for uh, socializing in a way right you are uh, feeling that and in a social setting you will struggle to speak up most people have a lot of inhibitions and they they are not comfortable speaking up or anything but here it's like a free run mm. any tom dick and harry can come and comment on anything right if you go to youtube comments just uh, uh, one or two comments later people will start fighting they can let themselves go they can be so free right whereas uh, if you see him in person this guy will be a pussy here he will be like a warrior he will go to <laughs> extreme lengths de- uh, defending his cause or uh, defending his leader whatever he will say man he is the greatest if anyone uh, talks against him you know um 
cut his hand kind of uh, statements this guy will be making. Whereas uh, in real life, he might not, or in uh, all likelihood, he is going to be a pussy, right? So that's what I'm saying. It combines these two aspects, yeah. right? So that makes it even more addictive. But that is that has been the progression. Like if you see, initially we had, uh, if you go back well into the past, as Venkat was saying, people used to sit around their uh, uh, fire in the evening, exchange stories, right? Of uh, what happened, where they have been. And that is how you see all these travelers had uh, were a huge draw. People who have traveled the world, they come back and tell the stories. You have all these Arabian night stories which became popular. So stories were very popular as a source of entertainment. And then it became even uh, more addictive with the advent of radio, TV and all that. Right? With uh, uh, books came and then radio, TV. It's been progressing. So there is no going back. All we can do is we can restrict ourselves. Right? These things are going to get uh, even better. Like in uh, the near future, there is going to be like augmented reality where you can participate in YouTube shows. Right? You will be actually standing there watching something happening. Right? If there is a street fight which is being posted, uh, maybe it will be posted live and you can go there and uh, stand there and maybe you can talk to your uh, fellow uh, you know, gawkers, people standing there gawking, you can uh, talk among yourselves, you can gossip, right? All the while being anonymous, right? So it's going to get more and more addictive. No, no two ways about it. But you have to restrict yourself. You have to decide what you want to do. And it's always better to fill your day with uh, uh, other things Rather than saying, yeah, so I was saying, um, we have spoken about the problem very well, the reasons why, why this happens, etc. Now I want to discuss more about the solutions, right? How, how to do that? Uh, it's easy to say restrict yourself. And Damu, you said that fill your uh, time with other activities, right? But can we talk yes. about, but there are some practical difficulties with respect to kids for adults also when you uh, let's say you are working mm -hmm. and you start, uh, uh, let's say you are uh, uh, developing some software and you come across one issue and you look for a, a YouTube uh, solution to that and you watch that, but there is a uh, recommendation and you get uh, uh, dived uh, in. Uh, one more, one more, one I'm more. Mm. Yeah. See, that's fine. But uh, let me ask you a question, right? Mm. Uh, have you ever got a solution mm. that you are saying, I am developing something, especially you are saying uh, you are a software developer and you are developing something mm. and you want a solution and you may find it in uh, Stack Exchange or some other place, mm. but have you ever got a solution for your uh, technical issues on YouTube? Uh, not technical, issue, happened, but information, yes. Like, let's say there is a technical concept and you want to know what it is. There are some yeah. good informative videos, but not the solution. Yeah, and also, also good informative videos are there. But is it the most informative? Uh, uh, argument. Like, for example, mm -hmm. like, for example, right? So, um, even though it uh, sounds like, okay, very generic, right? Mm -hmm. The, the solutions are such that they can only be generic. You can't be so specific. So just uh, listen to my thought process here, right? Mm -hmm. So you have any addiction, right? The only way if you ask me to get out of it is, right, you have to uh, completely stop it. But the problem is you are going to be, you are a man is a creature of habit. We all at the same time, like every day, let's say uh, evening seven o'clock, you have been watching 
starting to watch uh, YouTube and then you continue till uh, 12 a.m. or 1 a.m. in the night, you are going to crave during that time. And it will become more and more difficult for you as days go, go by. So when you want to stop that activity, first you have to see, okay, yeah, this is the time I have been doing this. So I have to replace that with something else. Right? You have to have a replacement activity ready. Instead of saying like uh, very simply, okay, I will not watch YouTube from now on. Right? Instead of that, you have to say, I, have, I will do this from tomorrow mm. or today. Mm -hmm. You want to stop watching YouTube. Mm. You say from today, I am going to do this instead of YouTube. Right? Mm -hmm. That could be that I will be reading this uh, book and you should have the book ready, everything ready at that time. Right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to identify the triggers. Like what triggers you to go to this uh, YouTube? Mm -hmm. One example you gave was like, okay, sometimes I learn some information from YouTube. Mm -hmm. Right? So that is possible. But initially, you are like, you have to treat yourself like a, you are an alcoholic mm. or whoever it is, right? I, if I want to give up some addiction, I have to treat myself as an alcoholic. Mm. Mm. So for, a, for an alcoholic, recovering uh, alcoholic, what is the worst thing that can happen? That the first drop, like yeah. I, I have uh, read of uh, people mm. who have given up alcohol for uh, 20 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then going back to this uh, full blown addiction mm -hmm. after he tasted one drop mm -hmm. like somebody says okay yeah, now it's been 20 years right now you are recovered ah. you could even say I am that guy mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. today you may say ah, it's been 20 years right <laughs> uh, you don't have any addiction just try it ah. I may try it once and find myself five years down the line. Now I am a heavy drinker. I drink every day. Mm, mm. Right? So it is in the nature of addictions. That mm. is how it uh, goes. Mm. So instead of saying that I will not do this, fill your, act, fill your day with other things. Mm. Other things. And uh, be very uh, specific. Say that, okay, yeah, today I am going to read this book. Mm. Right? Maybe it is uh, fiction. Maybe whatever else it is going to be less harmful. Uh, and uh, choose that. And start doing that. And uh, you have to completely cut it out. You are saying no moderation. However, Venkat was saying restrict the time period. Right? So No, uh, no that, is, that is his uh, strategy. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes, that is why you have to understand yourself mm. and come up with a strategy that works for you. Okay. Mm. That's why I said I cannot talk for everybody. Mm. Mm. I am saying that for me, what would work is, okay, from now on, I'm not going to watch YouTube. Even that is not going to work. Mm. What is going to work is from now on, the times that I spend, right? I have to have this exact time when I do these things. Mm. Just after uh, this event, what do I do, right? When do I go to go to YouTube, right? And what are the triggers? Those things only I will know. Identify your triggers, and when you are triggered, do, choose to do an alternative activity, mm. which which should be very clear in your mind. For uh, for now, you are saying okay. When I need an information. Uh, I go to uh, YouTube to learn that, right? Learn that information. Mm -hmm. Instead of that, you should have an alternative way, or place to go. Mm -hmm. Like whenever I need information, I go to YouTube. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now replace it with whenever I need information, I do this. Maybe you have a couple of uh, books on Flutter. Mm -hmm. Or whatever the the technology that you are currently working on, 
Mm. You go there, right? A similar thing I used to face, mm. right? When I was uh, managing a team mm. and all, I used to see this behavior from people. Mm. I always used to encourage people to read books. Mm. Read a book like a Unix uh, administration handbook, mm. especially for the freshers. I'll say, read this book. Mm. But they won't do that. Whenever they come across some issue, they prefer to Google it mm. and find the solution. So what used to happen was they will not ever have that overall understanding. They won't have. And if you go up, go and refer to that book, mm. you will find that they have far more information than you can find in Google. Mm. So the same way here, like you are going to YouTube because you want it to be easily fed to you. Mm. You are not willing to spend that time. But if you make a decision that I will not go to YouTube for any reason, instead of that, okay, what are the reasons? Right now you make a list of things you go to YouTube for. That will tell you what are the triggers. Mm. I'm feeling bored. Okay, next time when I'm feeling bored, I'm going to do this. Mm. Why would I go to YouTube? Okay, I need information. Next time when I need information, I'm going to do this. Right? Mm. Okay, I want to watch some um, specific content. Like tutorials. Next time I am going to go and, go and uh, watch some tutorial here. Right? Like that, you have to sit and think what are the things which lead you to go to YouTube. Those are triggers. Now you have to, for each of those triggers, you have to have alternative actions. And then cut out, cut out YouTube. And then start counting days, day one, day two, like that, right? Have a goal tracker. And then that goal tracker, you just keep crossing each day, build a chain, right? And uh, okay, after 100 days or uh, 50 days, you are slowly forgetting that uh, there is a thing called YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that you can relax because it is like okay, because so after hundred days. What about uh, yeah. uh, kids? What about kids? See, you are talking about an have... adjust strategy of uh, for for an adult, right? What they can do, but with for the, kids, etc. With the kids, with kids, right? With kids, mm. it's it's uh, in a way it is easier. Because their habits are not well formed mm -hmm. by now, right? Like you, you simply switch it off, right? They don't have any way to, and uh, initially there will be like a lot of uh, withdrawal symptoms. They will be crying, they will throw a tantrum and all. Mm. Just give them like two, three days, right? Mm. Suddenly they will find something else to do or better still, if you find something else to do for them, mm. right? Give them a book and, uh, you know, and if that is all there is, there is, right? You will find that they engage with that because kids are some, uh, you know, some of the most, uh, they are the, actually, they are the most creative when it comes to anything and they will find creative ways. You see how they play with uh, just if you give them a ball, right? If that is all they have, right? They will put that ball, they will uh, pour, pour something on top of that. They will create 100 games out of it, right? Mm -hmm. It is just that you are giving them all these options, then uh, crying, saying that, uh, yeah, what to do about kids? Kids, uh, with kids, it is very easy. You don't uh, display addictive behavior and don't allow them to get into addictive behavior. That's it. Right? Why do you want to complicate things? Like uh, from now, you want to give them all the options. And if you give them all the options, of course, like if you put in front of the child uh, a ball, you know, ball of uh, full of candies, and then uh, 
put a bowl of uh, uh, vegetable salad and tell them, yeah, yeah eat in moderation. Eat a little bit. Take one candy now, right? It's impossible. You are uh, you are basically like uh, getting them into all this bad behavior. Mm, mm, mm. You have to. I mean, cut. You are saying give them, them one candy now. Give them one candy. Let them enjoy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give them one candy. Don't show them a bowl. If you, you are, are saying, like, don't show them candy. No, no, no. I am not saying that. i am not saying that i am saying give them one you candy are saying total total abstinence totally not, a, abstinence. not at all not at all if possible from uh, you should give them a candy occasionally yes that is a better strategy but as an adult it is much more difficult for you to have one candy and stop because your habits are formed you are by now you are an addict due to whatever reason i am talking about myself actually right there are adults who have been um, raised properly right with uh, with the correct habits those adults are able to handle moderation right but uh, for most people they are not able to handle moderation they can, uh, and uh, very few are uh, even able to handle total abstinence i am one of the those adults who are able to handle abstinence but not moderation like if you ask me to watch youtube for just one hour every day and have a nice time of it watch very good content and uh, be happy about it uh, that's not possible for me right i can i i will end up maybe one day i'll do that two days i'll do that but suddenly i will find myself like uh, Uh, coming to the end of a program and think, oh man, what about next episode? It's too too interesting, right? Just one more, just for today. And suddenly I find that one year later again I am binge watching five hours for the past six months. So that is why I am saying you have to understand yourself as an adult. But for kids, I am saying that it is actually much much easier. What do you want to do? you can totally restrict the access the candies you can uh, put it uh, under lock and key if you want put it in a cupboard and lock it right where they cannot get to it and give them occasionally i would say it is actually a good practice to give them everything in moderation because they know that yes it is coming but i can't have too much right that's actually a very good uh, habit for them to enjoy things in moderation because end of the day we don't want them to suffer we want them to enjoy all these uh, small sins like uh, having candies and all uh, enjoy it in moderation that is the ideal scenario but if you on the other hand is uh, displaying addictive behavior in other ways it is very difficult for you to enforce this behavior to your kids yeah fair enough yeah i think we have had a good discussion anything else venkat you want to add as in the closure right yeah. are there any uh, 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 softwares to let's just say if you are uh, searching in youtube it should not show the recommendations it should only uh, spit out uh, top 3 results of your search why should yes, uh, it yes. show 1 uh, uh, million things where you are correct correct There's so huh. yeah see the the reason you know uh, people go on a uh, binge watch in youtube right is through this related videos suggested videos exactly right? yeah yeah suggested mm. and related videos right mm. Mm. so there are extensions out there mm. which block all the sidebar the recommended suggested videos mm. which block the comments mm. it only shows one video and it even blocks the end cards right so that you don't get you don't want that next one right if you want to watch only one video just watch it and be done with it right yeah yeah there are extensions that can do that right chrome mm. extensions on uh, pcs that they can do this right and one more thing is people on uh, their mobile phones right they mm. should disable they should turn off notifications for every channel that they are subscribed to 
preferably do not subscribe to channels but if you are subscribed turn off notification so that when you find time you go and see the videos when you find time not when videos are uploaded and you get to immediately you know get a notifications and you tap on it and like you know then they start watching binge watching that on youtube right mm-hmm. so that is one way right mm-hmm. you, you may want to subscribe to channels but do not click on the bell icon yeah. which say <laughs> which gives you a notification that 